everybody. Um, this is our first instructional tutorial, so if it works out, you might see more. If it crashes and burns, you might never actually see this. So hopefully it'll do well. And we'll have a few of these that uh, might help some of the newer folks just getting into the business, you know, kind of learn what people that have been doing it for a while do. Uh, right now we're gonna start off with something simple. We've got our tub here. This is normally what I pour my shaved ice syrups over top of. So after I shave the ice in the cup, I'll bring it over here and then I'll just pour my syrups right over top of it. That way any mess is contained, spillage is contained, and it doesn't stain up my countertops. So right now what we're gonna be doing is making the uh, Snowy brand uh, cream topping, the vanilla cream topping. Now I'm not affiliated with Snowy, but um, I do buy several of their products, some of their syrup, some of their, you know, their cream topping, for example, some of their, you know, equipment. That's a, uh, a, a Snowy Block Pro, uh, pretty expensive machine. Of course, I customize the decals on it. But uh, anyway, so the cream topping we're making today is Snowy's cream topping. And uh, before we get too far into it, I just want to apologize if I um, suddenly have to stop the video or things are suddenly in different places. It's because I'm actually open right now and if a customer walks up, I'll have to stop the video. Uh, but I'll try to keep it as quick and as smooth as possible. So what we've got here is uh, just some purified water. You need uh, to make a one single batch of the snowy cream. You need about three quarters of a pint of water. And this is 16.9 ounces, so it's roughly a pint. I've got a quart sized squeeze bottle. Just you know, run-of-the-mill quart size squeeze bottle. It takes a, uh, either a flip-top cap, one of these, or it can take a screw-on cap, one of these. So basically during the day, while I'm open, I use this cap, and at night when I'm closing down and I wash my dishes, I put this cap on it. Um, and that way it makes sure that this stays really clean on the inside. Um, and it's imperative because that could really tarnish the flavor if you don't get in there and really clean that out. So since we're um, just making it right now, nobody's ordering it, we're gonna put on the screw top when we're done. You need a funnel, obviously, so it'll fit in there so you can dump the powder. Now, I've already pre-measured the snowy cream. Uh, this is one scoop full, uh, which is basically what they recommend. It's eight ounces of powder. Um, I just took it out of the big bulk container because it was almost empty. And so I've got exactly enough mix to make one more batch in this bag. So the way I do it is I just take the powder and of course I'll put a little bit of water in the bottle first. And again, I'm only gonna use about three quarters of this water. Then we put in our funnel. Now it's perfectly okay if you accidentally spill some of the powder what that means is you'll just need to add a little bit more powder from your supply or just add a little bit less water. It really doesn't matter. This stuff is pretty forgiving. As long as you're in the realm of what it should be, it normally mixes up pretty good. Now I'm just giving this a little shake to help it through the funnel. powder smells so good. This vanilla flavor is really awesome. It's one of my best selling toppings. In fact, for the majority of the events that I do, it's the only topping that I carry. Just simply because I would say 99% of the people that try it love it. And those that don't, you know, that's okay too. It's optional. So now that we've got our powder in there, we're just going to take that and add about two-thirds of the water. So I'm going to stop with the water when it's right about here. And, uh, you know, I might add a little bit more of that after I shake it, but we'll see what it looks like and what the consistency is. So now I just put on my screw top. And I really give it a good shake because you really don't want it to clump up. 
Nothing worse than biting into a cream topping to get a mouthful of powder. So in my opinion, this looks pretty good. Now I know on the camera it looks pretty thin, but you're supposed to keep this cold. And so what I do is I put it in my refrigerator that I keep on my trailer. And uh, when people start ordering it, when I start selling you know, to customers throughout the day, I'll bring it over here and just put it in a bucket with ice and I'll put a thermometer in it. And as long as I can keep that you know, out of the temperature danger zone, keep it cold enough, you know, it'll last on the countertop for, you know, a couple, three, four hours. Um, and by then I've usually used most of it anyway. So, uh, but you just want to make sure that you keep it cold. And then per the health department, of course, um, you know, everything in Florida, at least in your trailer, you can't have any ingredients or any product in an unlabeled container. So getting yourself a label maker is probably a very good investment unless you just like buying tons of those Mylar stickers. And let me tell you, those Mylar stickers do not come off very well at all. And so you'll be using razor blades and soaking them in hot water repeatedly for those Mylar stickers to come off. All right, so now we've got our, our label on it, vanilla cream topping. I'm gonna take it over there, put it in the refrigerator or the freezer just to get it real cold. And uh, we'll see how it sells. It's like I said, it's one of our best toppings and I recommend you give it a try. Um, you can order it from Snowy directly in their bulk container um, or you can order it in the individual, um, I think it's pint size servings and I think it's only like five or six bucks. Um, and then the bulk one is like 40 or $50, but anyway, thanks for watching and uh, check back for more videos later.